I want to show you some of the things that I've done to my 2023 Maverick. But there's quite a few things I've done to my Maverick. So this will probably be a two-part video. So here we go. Here's part one. I've had my truck for six months, so I figured it was time to make a video about it. Yes, this is my 2023 hybrid Maverick Lariat with the Lux package, which I ordered on September 15th, 2022, and I picked it up from the dealer on April 10th, 2023, so just under six months. And I've had it just over six months, and it has 13,900 miles on it, almost 14,000 miles. That's a lot for me, uh, 12 to 13 typical for a year, uh, but I've been doing a lot of traveling, so yeah. And I'm going to walk around and show you some of the things on my Maverick. Let's start out with right here. LED strips for turn signals. One on each side and the wiring runs underneath the hood and goes to the front and is wired to the turn signals on each respective side. On the front, I have the Ford hood protector and that's on with double-sided tape and it went on real easy and it is pretty firm and it's still there after 13,000 miles. Underneath the hood, going all the way across the front, is an LED bar. It goes all the way across and that is wired to my side marker lights. So it comes on with the parking lights and the headlights not as a daytime running light. And of course it does that flash when it starts up. Okay, coming around to the back or to the center back. Stubby antenna. Yes. I did not want to have the six inch antenna sticking up and so I went with that. Yes. Now let's go around to the back. Beautiful oak tree, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so First of all, Maverick letters, they're raised plastic, and it's a matte black. Same deal, double-sided tape, one on real easy, and they're still there after all this time. Now let's come down here. There is just a plain trailer hitch cover. And yes, I've towed a trailer with it. I bought a hitch from Lowe's. It's a B-Rock or Brock, and then for the lock pin, I got a Kurt lock pin for the hitch. So yeah, and of course, hybrid. Now, let's get to the tonneau cover. It's a backflip MX-4, which is the same tonneau cover that you can get from Ford, except that you can get it aftermarket for several hundred dollars less, and I actually found a place that had it online so for a hundred dollars less than that. So I saved some good money there. And it is a trifold, but it flips up against the back window. Yes, you lose your back window visibility, but it doesn't come to here when it's trifolded so that you're losing the space under there if you want something large, which I have transported I've actually used this as a truck. I have hauled loads of yard waste, broken limbs in that. I've got 40 trees on my quarter acre of city plot, so I get a lot of dead wood. A couple of loads of those. I actually had a Woods Hoosier style cabinet in here that I brought home that was inside the truck. So that's cool. And all the way up in the front, in the corner, is where I put my kayak. And I bring it all the way back here, and it's 10 feet long, and it rests on my bed extender. So I've got this foam on either side, and the kayak upside down rests right on here, sticks out about three feet, and I put a strap across from here, over the bow to 
either here, if I feel it's pulling on this ring too much, I'll go to this load hook over here. And yes, I have a D-ring here because I have a um, tailgate assist on here. So yes, there is that. I have a bed tray, which is from Musologi. Musologi, Musologi. I'm very happy with it. Um, I only set it out for half a day in the sun so that it could unfold itself. It was folded up, but it's it's a nice surface. Now, being a lariat, um, it comes with the power inverter, and for 23s, they removed the spring and bed liner. So I added the spring and bed liner. I then asked my dealer to remove it so it would come quicker. And then when they came up with that package where you could get the load rails and get them free if you got a spring and bed liner, I said, hey, I want to do that. And he says, it's too late. Your truck's in production. And as it turned out, he never removed the spring and bed liner. Yeah. So um, I did not go with the factory uh, track system there. I was watching on... Maverick Truck Club and one of the members made one of these that is a aircraft grade quality aluminum and the rings that pop out and move lengthwise anywhere and uh, I thought I'm gonna do that but I never got around to it <laughs> and then one of the members on Maverick Truck Club said hey I've put it all together as a package and so I bought it from him including the proper size bolts for the three holes because there are two different bolt sizes in there and so yeah and so there's one on either side now uh, in this cubby over here that's where I keep my uh, tire inflator air compressor it's a Vier. I'm very happy with it it's it's great um, I'm not gonna pull it out because doing it one-handed just isn't going to work actually I will show you this they provide a wiring harness so that you can wire accessories in the back I use the first one for I use that one for these lights along the bed here I found another one on eBay and I used it to wire this power panel right here. Now there's an on off switch right down there at the very bottom and then there is two USB charge ports, power points and a 12 volt socket. And uh, this is marine grade, so it's resistant to water, close to waterproof, I guess. So yeah, that was pretty easy to put into. And down there in that bag is my Vier um, compressor, tire inflator. I'm gonna come back over inside the truck for a second. And I'll put on accessories and the four ways because with the four ways I can show you see that there's a light bar down there and when the tailgates up you can see underneath the tailgate and it is brake lights turn signals and it's white for a backup light so yeah I put that on there and I wired that directly into the into the turn signals on either side Be well yes because I'd have a different signal on the other side and uh, yeah, so that's what I did with that. And and right there, the reason I turned on the accessories was that you can see that I have a cargo light. There. Okay, so now that right there is my trunk. It's a Rubbermaid Action Packer. I've had that crate, that tote, for more than 30 years. I had it on a boat back in the 90s, early 90s and uh, came in really handy. Uh, the strap is to go through the, through this ring and I forgot to put it through the ring when I set it up. But yes, it holds it down, keeps it from moving. And it's just a simple strap, no ratchet. That way I can adjust the length very easily if I want to swing it sideways because that's what I do when I put the kayak in here. And here, the nice thing about this bed tray is it, you can cut these out so that your rings are exposed down there. So yeah. And uh, yes, I have the back window open. I've noticed just in the past week and a half driving without air conditioning, I've bumped my gas mileage up a little bit. So, yeah.
once I show you these lights from underneath, yeah, there you go. I'll take you inside.